To start QPI, just use the shortcut on your desktop. While you're in a trial period, you will get the About box reminding you of how many days you have left. The first time you run it, I'd suggest pinning it to your taskbar so you also have the icon down here. As you can see, if this is the first time you ran it, you will have no favorites. Okay, so the first time you run it, you have no keywords in here, but you should have two default directories configured. By default, ProStitcher loads their handy quilter designs, the free ones that come, under the C colons designs directory. So that's one already programmed in. So you can get down to all the different designs. A common practice is also to create a designs directory under your documents folder. And under there, you can manipulate and maintain patterns that you have bought separately, but it's totally up to you about how you manage designs. If you go under settings, you can choose any additional folders you want to add. In this case, I'm going to go looking under documents and go, oh, here's designs for Pro Stitcher. Oh, there's a lot of interesting stuff under here, so we'll just do the whole directory. When you click OK, it's going to go out there and look for all the designs in that directory. Now there's a lot of duplicate stuff in that directory. If you wanted to check out duplicates, you can go to the Find Duplicates file and it'll list all of them and then show you which ones are duplicate. But we'll cover that in more depth later. I really don't want that directory there. So I can just go back to File, Settings, and remove it. While you're here in Settings, I'd also like to point out the supported formats at this time. We really don't need to look at the Handy Quilter um, working areas. So we can just deselect that. There's another option down here, show all folders even if there's nothing to open. If this was not checked and there were no designs under C colon designs, it would not show up. You have the option of turning it on and off. That's basically how you choose which design folders you're going to look at. So what can you do with your patterns? If you go and click on patterns, you can click on one of them and look at it. Oh, that looks like a nice car. Off-road fun too. That's interesting. I'm going to put a keyword called car on this one. Okay. That's interesting. I'm going to leave him, whoa, look out. I'm going to leave, stop that. I'm going to leave him open and get him a little bit out of the way here. I'm going to go looking for other things that I might want to put on my quilt. Oh, like Melissa says, I'm an honor junkie. That's not bad. All right, patriotic stuff, cars. This is all really cool. So you can see how you can look at things. Now, there are other features, including the file information. This is all dependent on what the designer put in the file. We have no control over that. I can add notes that say, this is a patriotic corner piece or not. So you can add, attach notes to things as well. You can copy the file into a, let's say you've got a customer's directory under I'm not sure. Let's just create one. Customer. And save it in there. Oh, by the way, let's copy that one in there as well. It remembers where you're going. 
Oh, and the car is pretty cool. Alright, what other features do we have here? Oh, add to favorites. Let's add the card to my favorites. Boom. So where are the favorites? If you go back up to the top, you have a favorites folder. It's really a virtual folder because it's just keeping references to where everything is. So I can go add to favorites here and that gets added as well. Alright, so what else are we playing with here? We can rotate clockwise if it makes more sense. We can flip vertically, which didn't do anything. There we go, horizontally. We can also copy the image if we want to paste it into email or something. That just puts it in your buffer. We have limited print capabilities where you can print it out, one, and if you get into a multiple select situation where you can print multiple things out. So that's just some of the interesting things you can do here. Now the trick is, I don't have a lot of keywords right now, so if I wanted to search for parts, I can still do it because many of these programs have parts in their title. Now, what did I just do? I made it plural. Now, if I do heart, I'm going to get more things. So that's the power of the search. It's doing it just on the um, name of the file and any keywords. But I know I don't have any keywords set up here. The only keyword I've set up is car at this point. So we have lots of hearts. Some of these are really nice. All right. Now, if you notice, to do the search, I've said I wanted to look for everything under designs for that. If I wanted to look everywhere, which includes the other folders, I'd need to be in a higher folder, like in the pattern folders. So if I search for dog, it searched everywhere versus in the C colons designs. So I can take that even lower. So if I wanted to search for double in the Linda Goslin directory, it will show me the double. That's interesting. But you can see there's still no keywords. So you can go through and individually add keywords like test to an individual file or you could go in a folder and click select and do a multi search for turkey turkey bird whatever and then you can right click and go manage keywords and say okay I want to add bird to all of those How about while well, we're here adding feather to all of those? Car and test doesn't make sense, but you can see you're adding it to multiple items at a time. Now that can even take some time, so we've added the ability to import keywords. Now I'm going to go to the downloads folder into our holding area here. And we've got some keywords from Pam. Look at what happened. All of these nice keywords came in here. The four patch, nine patch, animals, apple core, so the this is a work in progress but you can share your keywords with each other You'll have a lot of common patterns, but you might also not have the same patterns, but it'll still take their keywords. And if you end up buying the pattern, that keyword will automatically be applied to the pattern when it finds it. Okay, so I remember I put a a test keyword in here so they're alphabetical 
All right, I'm gonna right click on it. I don't like that even, well, let's click on it first. Test has actually been assigned to all four of these, not just the one I did, but test is a test one. Let's delete the keyword. Deletes it from all the patterns. So you have the ability to delete it. You can rename so you can manage things. Uh, you can also, ooh, there's a wreath. You can also enter the manage keywords and see that, yes, these all have wreath. But they also have, some of them have Christmas, some of them have curly. So they share the wreath keyword, but they also have other keywords assigned. Recent searches. If you look down here under the recent searches tree, it has kept track of previous searches that you have done. Now if you are changing things in the directories with the file manager, you may need to tell it to repeat the search. In some cases you don't need this search anymore and you just want to get it out of the way and say delete search. Now if you do anything to the file system that doesn't show up in your tree properly, there is the ability to refresh the tree, which goes out and checks whatever directories you have configured again. Finding duplicate patterns is helpful, especially in a case where you may add a directory that has a lot of duplicate files. In this case, I can go under here and add this whole tree here, click OK. Now if I go under File, Find Duplicates, you'll see that the Apples block is under the default Anita's Shackelford directory, but it's also copied under Designs for Pro Stitcher. So this is just a duplicate copy. If you select it and do Open File Explorer, it will open the right block and you can actually delete it. Now, I don't know if I really want to do that. I'm going to hit Control Z and it will put it back. That's like an undo. Alright, this is the standard, standard file explorer. You're responsible for what you do in it. The QPI program does not delete or move it only copies, so it cannot hurt your design structure, but you have the responsibility to use the file explorer to set up and maintain your file structure.